All right, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So with the new update means there are new guns being nerfed slash buff. These are the guns that I actually haven't looked through the patch notes, but we are currently live on stream. If you haven't yet, join me live on Trovo. So there's a few guns we're gonna be testing. First of all, the first that we are gonna be testing is gonna be the HBR. So this is gonna be a brand new gun. I've been told that it was buff, but I was also told it was nerfed. So I'm here with main. Main to stay all the way at the end. I'm not gonna shoot you. Stay there. All right, cool. So. We're just gonna look at the recoil pattern. This is with me without controlling it. So it does feel, and I actually do have a grip on this. So keep that in mind, I have a grip. So from here, like I can probably laser him pretty well. That was looks like, that looks like almost like a five tap. I'm gonna let him regen a little bit. Um, we're, this again, this is unofficial. We're gonna have to wait till Hawk's Nest does this official video, but I just wanna kinda do like a feel for it. So I did play with this a few days ago. And the recoil seems to be a little bit better, but I could be wrong in just a feel. So I don't think there was a huge buff or nerf, but damage wise, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Just about seven shots to kill him from that range. And that's about how much, how far is that? We're just gonna compare where that box landed. We're gonna do it about here. That's about 46 meters away. So if I actually move a little bit closer, get within that 30 meter away, which is typically what you would find one, two, three, four, five tap. Not bad. It's actually pretty far. And the rate of fire is, see, I, I feel like it's about the same. It, I feel like it's about the same. So like, let me see how fast I, I kill you in. Like this should be like a, a, a four tap. Yeah, this is a four tap close range. So I personally don't feel like anything has changed. The recoil seems to be approximately the same. This is the next gun that I'm actually super interested to try. When I played it a little bit earlier today, it felt really nice. However, obviously we're not gonna expect a very great recoil from long range. So again, this is probably, um, let's just check out how far is this can't mark. Target model. We're just gonna mark the car behind it. That's like 56 meters. Look, look at the recoil. It's obviously gonna be crazy, but the first, I think, how many shots? Hold on, let me reload. Let me heal him back up. Look at the recoil without controlling it. Again, it's pretty wonky but uh, it feels a little bit better than before, in my opinion. You can kind of control it. You can tap fire, I believe it's gonna be a four shot. One, two, three, four. Oh, still a five shot from this range, which compared to the HBR, which was seven, was not bad, not bad. So we're gonna actually move a little bit closer, be closer to that 45 range, and hopefully it does. That's a four tap, four tap from here. That's kind of insane. And you can kind of control this, like, if he's standing still there and I'm just like, I'm like laser, I'm mean, he's like a stand right there and I'm just like, bop, you know, he's got a little tap fire being able to kill him. So that's not bad. I think obviously the best thing about this is the, oh, actually the hip fire seems to be a little bit worse than before. I know, I, I don't know. It does seem like the hip fire is a little bit, it used to be way tighter before. If I remember correctly, it used to be a little bit tighter, but still. We'll try it out. All right, so one, two, three, again. I think that close to medium range, it does seem to have decent fire rate. I don't know what they buffed though. I have no idea what they buffed. Uh, you guys can let me know, but again, three tap from here. Seems like it. we're actually gonna run out of bullets soon. So we're gonna shoot him one more time from here. See how many, like from here, it should be a three tap. Yeah, that's definitely a three tap. So it doesn't feel like anything crazy. I was playing with it, you can like kind of slide. Yeah, like, I think it has a faster rate of fire than the ASM, so that could be a little more forgiving. All right, kill me real quick. We're going to try another gun. We're going to try out the M4. The M4 is one of the guns that I'm super excited to try because they did buff the rate of fire and they did nerf the recoil. So from here, again, this is a probably a good test. So this is without aiming, and this does not actually have, I, I, this does not have a stock, I don't think. No, it does have a stock. So all this is going to be stock with the stock, which most guns I think should have. That recoil is actually really manageable from this range. So I think I should be able to laser him from this range pretty easily. That's a little bit of horizontal recoil, but I don't think that nerf to the recoil is pretty bad if all things considered. Went away from the spawn back. But look at this. Like if, 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 if I like, I'm like coming out here, just like he's like running up and I just go like that. Like that's, that's with me using the stock. I'm like strafing, I'm like strafing. So. And we'll see the damage. If I don't remember exactly the damage, I believe it's a little bit better than ICR. But if this only takes about four, uh, five taps, this could be really, really good. I do have the update. All right. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six tap, which is about the same as eighth bar. I feel like eighth bar had a seven, but I may have missed a shot. So that's actually not bad. Six from this range. I'm gonna move up a little bit. So that was about 45. This is gonna be probably about. Oh, that was that was. Wait, I gotta move further. Yeah, that was 40. Up there was like 60. Now we're at 45. That should be one, two, three, four. Yeah, another six tap. However, the recoil is a little more manageable. Obviously, in this map, it's obviously one of the longer maps. But if let's say someone's pushing up here and you just come like this, you just whoop, and then you just strafe. Pretty manageable. And that recoil, we'll just take a look here. It doesn't, it's not that, it's besides the like the kind of horizontal recoil you get, it's not that bad. So the ICR is supposed to be um, buff and nerf, but let's be, I've, I've tried it out. The recoil seems almost ridiculous. All right, it's actually really bad compared to how. So essentially, it didn't have any recoil. So we're pretty much how far? We are? I think we're about 65, 60 maybe, 51. So we're about 51. All right. So look at this. Look at this recoil without touching. You guys, see how crazy that recoil is? <coughs> and you can control it a little bit, but it's like it's gone ridiculously nerfed. Before you can just hold it down and, and laser. And I remember this specifically because I, I tested this as well. And I tried doing this. And it was it was it was it's not good. Look. Look, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to laser. That that recoil is kind of crazy, but let's check out the damage. Let's see how many shots. It's probably gonna take six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So still a regular like the M4. I honestly would recommend the M4 instead of the ICR because that nerf. Look at that! I oh I also have a grip. I feel like they said it's a slight nerf, but the rate of fire is, is faster than the M4, I feel. So we're gonna move closer. I feel like it's definitely gonna be a five tap kind of gun. That's the problem here. Um main next game I'm gonna need you to equip the, the shock RC just to show. Yeah, it's a five tap. So nothing too insane. Now let me test out the gravity spikes. Let's see if it got nerfed. So right now. Oh my god! Okay, let's note a few things about the gravity spikes. First thing you can note, you're in the air way longer. So I'm actually gonna kill you again to see how long, how many kills it'll take for me to get this back. Uh, okay, don't kill me yet. So that's, I had 125 from that. All right. All right, that's another 325. So I'm expecting the point system to be about the same. Yeah, it's about 600. We're at like six, uh, 525 and so it's not that crazy when it comes to that nerf, but the main the main nerf here is the speed that a gravity spikes. You guys, look, take a look at this, all right? Speed jump. You guys see that? It used to be a lot faster, and now it's like, pow. So that's a pretty huge nerf, and I think the gravity spikes recharge is about the same. So the Pharaoh, the main Sunday nerf is the damage, I believe. So it doesn't take um, three anymore. It requires four. So... From this range, we'll see if I can... Actually, let's check the recoil. Okay, obviously, we're never going to be... There's no point in testing it from here. We'll try this again here. I may have missed a shot there in the, at the end, so... Three bullets. We can tell here if I if I hit him with all the shots, he should die from this. Yeah, so he'll die from all four shots. However, if I go, like, aim from a little higher... Let me try to get... Yeah, that was three. So three... And he had basically a third of his health left. So that's a pretty huge nerf. Especially if you're like, if you're walking in, you're trying to get those slide shots. So we're going to see, look, so let's say like I'm kind of out of this corner. And he's like right there and I slide and I'm like, that would have killed him typically. Right. But the fact is I didn't hit my last bullet. So he didn't die. So that's actually important because then you're going to have to go like, but let's let him heal up again. All right. Perfect. Just walk in here and then see, didn't die there. So it does take a little bit more. So that nerf is huge. I don't think as crazy. All right, so we're gonna leave the game. We're gonna hop back on with a few other guns. All right, now we're gonna test out the KN, the AK-117, the Outlaw, the MSMC, and the Cordite. Just because I feel like they ninja nerfed the Cordite. So I am pretty, pretty familiar with this gun right here. I do use it quite a lot. So apparently people said it got nerfed. Again, like I mentioned, please wait for Hawk's Nest to confirm it. So this is just a regular recoil. Oh my God, holy smokes. Wait a minute. It kind of feels weird, but then again, I'm not sure. Okay, if I'm controlling it. it feels right. Oh, thank you so much for the hey, $5. Hitman. How are you? Thank you, Deepak. I appreciate it, my dude. 
All right, so we'll check the, the damage. It should be about the same. It should be about a five, six shot. One, two, three, four, five, six shot. As expected, again, we're about 50 meters. You guys will see we're about 50 meters away, 55 meters away. They didn't nerf, nerf the cord. I just want to check to see if they nerfed their hip fire or anything. All right, so let's try to laser them from here. Typically speaking, with this gun, you could laser them from here because the first seven shots don't have recoil, so we'll try it out. Yeah, no, that recoil is definitely different. I've, I'm so used to this not having much recoil on the first few shots that it does feel kind of different on that. Just like... I mean, I still feel like it has slightly more horizontal recoil. It does kick just a little bit. Yeah, that was, I'm going to reach end of a bit. But it kind of does feel weird. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's just go check it out. All right, let's see if I can laser him. Yeah, like... That would have been an easy laser with any other, if this was the old KN. And I played with this a lot the other day. It would have been like, dang, it has a crazy recoil. Now let me just try, see if they change the damage. This was a, a, a four tap. So yeah, it's still a four tap, but that rate, that recoil kind of feels weird. Also, they, they kind of change all the sound effects and everything. So that's kind of weird. So if I come like here, Yeah, so it's still a, still a four tap. Oh, I actually picked up some ammo. That's pretty cool. All right, um, all right. You, we're gonna do the other part afterwards. So, I should be able to laser you from here. So yeah, the the medium to short range is not bad, but that long range recoil is kind of crazy. I'm gonna see if I can actually get this kill here while strafing. Yeah, it's not bad. It just it feels like it got changed a little bit. Just that long range kind of feels like weird. I could be wrong. Hello, devs. Hello, godly. So we're gonna see. We can we can have this shot right here. See, that was not bad. I don't know, man. I feel like it feels weird. I don't know what you guys think. It kind of feels like that recoil from far. Like if I'm strafing, it's not bad. Like you know. But okay. All right. So um, do I not have lightweight equipped? I do. Why do I feel so slow? Is it a swing that makes it look kind of weird? It sounds nice. That recoil is non-existent the first few shots. Loading. Excuse me? You guys see that? That first, those first few shots, look. Those, how many shots is that? We're gonna heal up. Those first few shots, it does seem like he takes a, takes a little bit more. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six shot. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. So like, look. That kind of lasered more. That was kind of better than the uh, can. Let's just check it without uh, controlling the recoil. Pretty high vertical recoil, but under that, it's not bad. I felt not bad. I missed the first few shots, but I kind of like it. It feels like it's a six shot, but that fire rate. Yeah, it's pretty fast. That was pretty nice. Again, remember I'm using an epic gun, so it has an increased range boost. However, the recoil seems pretty solid at this range. You know what I mean? And uh, I think we might, if this is a four tap close range, this might be a the move it might be the move chat it has it does seem like it has a better recoil than the can currently one two three oh it's a five shot chat it's a five shot obviously if i get a headshot he he'll die sooner right one two three four yeah a headshot would make it a four without the headshot okay so um just to show you guys gravity spikes so i don't watch this okay the reason gravity spike seems kind of dookie is this look at that I'm in the air for so long. All right, so the thing they said they changed about the outlaw, scoping time is pretty fast as usual. That's without agile. So let me see if I hit his hand, it's gonna be a one shot. Okay, we'll shoot him in the hand. Oh, it still hit Marcus the hand. Oh, it still hit Marcus the hand. That's not good. I jump down for a second. I need to be the same, same height. All right, cool. All right. See, close, the closer you are, the, the less chance you have of actually getting it. So when the close range hit markers on a hand, it's insta-kill, which is good. But like, I'm not even that close here. Let's see how, how close am I. Bro, like I'm I'm here. This is, this is how much is this? Bro, this is, how much meter is that? 17 meters and I'm hit marking on the hand. I would be frustrated. I would be absolutely frustrated with 
Uh, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As expected, it might have been eight. I made a potato. And this close range damage should be a five. Yeah, it's about a five tap. But a rate of fire though. So it doesn't have like a damage buff or damage nerf. Unless, if I remember correctly, it was always a five. It wasn't a four tap. But it's the hip fire that's, that was always OP. So yeah, no nerf here. All right, so first things first. Let's check out this one. Rico's still about the same. But is it more controllable? That's the best. Okay, now this is important. How many shots it takes for close range? One, two, three, four. Still five. It's four and a half, five. So it used to be four. Now it's still a five. So I don't think it got a damage buff. But it's the more like a the recoil if it got a little bit better. So no, it seems that it's not too crazy, guys. It's not too crazy. I don't think it's gotten better. I mean, eh, eh. So obviously the rate of fire is about the same. The recoil might have gone a little better. I can't confirm or deny, but look, you guys see. It's still about a five tap, so it's one of those that's like, uh, I don't know how to feel about it. Shock IC's actually got nerfed pretty uh intensively, so use it. Enemy shock RC is coming. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. That's all it takes. It used to be like five, so you can actually escape it a lot. Enemy all right, shock RC move away. Is coming. Move away, move away. Okay, so. This used to be like a lot of health. Seven. That was uh, seven shots. That's actually, that's actually a lot less. All right, move away for a second. Move, move. All right, so. Yeah, that's seven bullets. Less health, shocks a little less time. I don't know if it shocks two people. I can't confirm or deny I don't have the second person, but we're gonna switch to the RUS real quick. I don't think it got a fire rate nerf. I don't know. It does. I don't know if it, it. I don't know if it feels like it got a fire rate nerf. Five tap from here. Let's see. Let's see. If it did, it got a really slight. But I don't. I don't think it's noticeable. Oh yeah. Hold on. Okay. I I I shoot people based on feel, and that probably should, would have felt. I think it's the same. I think you're crazy. I honestly think we'll wait for Hawkness. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out when Hawksness makes that video. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the testing. I uh, will do a quick assessment of all the guns that got nerf slash buff. Based on that, it feels like the KN dot got a slight nerf. Can't confirm, but that's what I feel. The M4 got a AK117 got a buff. It, that's what it feels. It feels like it's a really solid gun now. I feel like it's always been a solid gun, but I think with this. It's got slightly buff. I used it the other days and I, I wasn't a fan of it, but I used it now and it felt kind of nice. The heat stroke, I mean, eh, buff, but let's be honest, you're not sniping that close. We have the uh, space station, maybe got a slight buff, but not noticeably enough for you to actually want to use it. We have the RUS Dawn slash also the Cordite, did not get a buff, did not get a nerf, I'm not sure, but we'll, I guess we'll, we'll find out when um, Hawks and make, made a video. We also switched up a few guns that I'm going to show you guys real quick. HBR. I feel like it got a slight buff, but then again, it just felt the same. It felt really nice. I played with it a few days. I think Noah will be able to tell you if he did or not. So Noah played with it a lot. The other gun that we tried out was the Man of War, which I actually kind of like. I'm a, I, Obviously, none of these were tried in rank. We're obviously going to try these out in rank to see how it goes. But Man of War kind of felt weird. The M4 actually felt really nice, so I'm actually going to be using that in, in rank. Probably going to see a lot of pro players rocking that. We actually have a few players already using it, but uh, we'll see. And then uh, we had the ICR, which I just feel like is absolutely dookie. The absolute dookie. And then uh, there was one more gun by El oh, Pharaoh. The Pharaoh was... Ugh. I think it can still be played, but if you miss one of those shots, which makes it huge, means that you can basically lose. I mean, shotguns on top. Shotguns on top. I didn't test shotgun, but that's going to be it today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Kill it!